him to keep going a little bit farther. Aramis, meanwhile, the top lane is playing a back-and-forth game of chicken against No-Tail. but it's not good enough. First blood for Aramis. I mean, he walked his courier in, though, and Midwin was yeah. able to smack it because of that. So, I mean, some crazy aggression coming out here up toward that top lane. I can't believe they could have killed Midwin. Yeah, they could have actually gotten him. <laughs> yeah, Bash level one wasn't level two yet. Bottom, we're seeing some insane aggression, as we would expect. I mean, it's an alchemist, and it was a Grimstroke who poured it to lane with zero mana. So alchemist already can't really do too much down here at the start. He will definitely get pressured. This is a this is a scary lane actually for Alchemist. It's a lot of magic damage that can come in, and I mean ET once he gets level three can really beat down that lane and chase it out. Mid lane is probably the one that I'd say is the only one that they should come out ahead on, a little bit on, but those other two side lanes I think OG is going to have real good times in, just be able to get super solid farm on their on their Phoenix as well as their Void. Aramis. Trying to interrupt the block and stop uh, both the pulling and the stacking. So looking at OG's overall draft, I was just, you know, I was talking about it a little bit before. It's just I look at this grand scheme of things and the team fight's just insane that they really have built amongst everybody here. Void Invoker 2 is one of these combos that I feel like it can hit to a point in the game where you just lose. Right, like if they get a certain Chronosphere off, like unless you all have Aeon Discs, you're all gonna probably die or start the fight almost dead. Yeah, so I played a, a game recently where it felt like we were winning pretty hard, and I, it was up against this combination, Void Invoker, and we're winning pretty hard, and we stumbled into one team fight where we got Chronosphere pretty nicely, but we didn't know that Invoker had literally just picked up his Agony Oh separate. God. And we got like nearly wiped in that fight and the whole entire game turned around off yep. of that. I've seen it happen so many times in like these pub games. I've seen it in a couple of pro games like in the past too, before it was his agonims when you just got the talent. It was like, you have to win the game before this invoker hits 20. As soon as invoker hits 20, GG. Like it, it, we've seen it happen a bunch of times. No, so able to get the tether out of there and they're keeping mid one. I mean, mid one's getting great farm up here. He has the extra sustain. Now he's actually trading though. We'll get the heal, though, from his yeah. IO. Fortunately, because the IO, he probably hasn't had to invest into a ton of regen, despite all the damage he's taken. Yep. Chad only still up to 10 last hits. This Phoenix really slowing him down, the core Phoenix. Invisibility. Even though it's the two kills right now for Viking GG. One of them was a suicide, I believe, from Soxa uh, to the tower. But you see that 1k gold lead because of the lanes. And the mid lane, it's it's actually not a lead for the Tiny. They, yeah. The Invoker's just evening it up anyway. He's going to be going for the Quaswex build. <laughs> Boom. Gets there nice and early for the bounty rune. This is, a, uh, this is actually, when I look at it, this is a really good EMP game. 
These are some strength heroes with some very limited mana pools. Top, they actually are able to get the kill because of this time dilation skill. Double denies there from Thompson. Everywhere it looks, it seems like uh, OG. They're getting just a bit better of uh, a Viking GG. Yeah. It looks like it could be another one here. Shad has to body block in order to keep Celery alive. Oh, the he will survive because the rain drop. But even, I mean, now they just forced their support. They forced the support out of the lane out of an alchemist who's not getting farm anyway. Yeah. This Phoenix is going to be hitting level six soon. Radiant structures are fortified. Looking to make an aggressive move. Okay, I like this though. They're nice. bringing the tiny top. Catches him with uh, halfway through the tether with that battery assault, stopping him from being able to jump over to the void. He wanted mid one there, but he will be able to TP mid, Dyer's and he does see that the rune was not top, attack. so makes a move to this DD rune. Dyer, I'll and here's Shad. that damage. Level five. Yeah. You knew it was kind of happen at some point in time that they were going to pressure this alchemist while uh, the Grimstroke was gone. Top is under Tornado MP just to try and burn boom out. Well, that really feels bad for a tiny, even you have the full bottle, even you use your all your bottle charges and you can only really go for one type of combo yeah. if you want to make some type of move. And the other thing that this invoker provides, because he is going for Quas Wex, now that they've pressured these alchemists, they're going to have a lot of ways to get into the jungle to really hunt for him whenever Thompson does choose to do so. Let's see, Sad is certainly feeling himself right now, as he should. Oh, yeah. Top net worth. Soxa has been creating mountains of space. Seven minute mail. Look at him. He's going to go for this kill on a celery. He should be able to run him down with the sun ray. And Soxa just beating him to a pulp. Now, Seb is deep behind the tower, though, and this was certainly not worth it for him. under attack. Radiant are scanning. Incoming! Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Like, uh, do you go for the... Illusion! 
Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. are scanning. Radiant are scanning.
middle tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant are scanning. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower is 
under attack. Like my knowledge, a well that never empties. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Rock it on. They've got the eggs online. It looks like mid one and OG. They want to take a. F show what level the Exord is yet. But they, they want. really want to press forward for this fight. Kind of walking around right now with this BKB. He's going to be comboed up though. Oh, he showed himself for a bit too long. And now here comes that catch we were talking about. Vacuum back in. Trapped inside. No Tail looks for another opportunity to get out. Goes for the relocate. No such luck. He's denied that. Shad. Boost it forward, tosses out the unstable concoction. That'll catch Sox as I believe he should burn out to the Radiance. He's gonna try and get the stomp, no such luck though. Dyer's Supernova and uh, I feel like it is gonna, no. Oh, wow, they actually got it, oh my Shad God. Shad gets there in time for the triple kill. It was about to pop Dyer's and Shad may have died if it popped there too, yeah. that Sunstrike. The Sunstrike, if he gets hit by the, the stun that goes on afterwards, and then this core Phoenix puts out all the damage that he has. Oh, damn. Big moves by... Radiant are scanning. Dyer are scanning. Yeah. Mid one is really trying to hold on to it as long as possible, and that, that can happen. It looked like, uh, to me, mid one felt like he could not get 100 to zeroed. Yeah. Maybe that would be... Double damage. One thing about OG, though. Gotta love watching this team play Dota, man, because...
Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack.
Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. is under attack. are fortified. Radiant are scanning. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant 
Dyer's top tower has fallen. Bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Ooh, there it goes. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack.
under attack. under attack. Middle Tower is under attack. Dyer's top barracks are under attack. Dyer's top barracks are under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Radiant's current has been killed. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. 